This is FM HTMS, your digital radio one station. Hello, everybody. And I'm going to say already happy new year to you because we only what two days away from celebrating a new beginning of your life. I'm excited about today's show because I have a wonderful guest that's going to join me uh, who's on the phone line from uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. And folks, you know, my show is all about inspiration. It's about encouraging you to move to the next level of your life. Now, I was telling uh, someone the other day, if you have not seen any progress in your life this year, You need to stay on your knees and take a good look at yourself because you should have made some type of progress over this year. But I'll tell you what, this gentleman that I have on the line, Mr. Marlon Smith, who was featured in Essence Magazine as one of the top motivational speakers contributing to the Tony Robbins Global Youth Leadership Summit for 12 consecutive years. Not one, but 12. That's right. Um, He also was uh, sharing the speaker platform with Les Brown, being a contributing author to the internationally best-selling Chicken Soup for Your Soul. I like that. And being a semi-finalist for Oprah's Big Game, uh, Big Give program. And Marlon feels blessed to share his insights, uh, which produces results. I want to bring this gentleman on right now. Ladies and gentlemen, you can smile. You can clap. You can get excited and let me welcome Marlon Smith to FMHDMS and the Songbook of Gospel. Good morning to the Honorable Smith. How are How are you, sir? Doing wonderful. Thank you very much for having me, Simone. I am excited to be here. I know you are. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas because I tell people the gift is not in things, but the gift is in you. Am I right about it? Oh, you know that. (laughs) (laughs) You you know, Marlon, first of all, let me congratulate you for the contributions that you are making uh, to the world, to young people with your mission and your vision. We salute you and we honor you today. Well, thank you very much. And, you know, all I'm doing is I'm just a man who has realized that I'd rather step and walk with faith than be held back with fear. Mm. That's why you, what you're doing as the radio feel good man and your radio program and the radio station, you know, it's about really inspiring people to step up mm-hmm. and walk with faith because faith and fear can't operate at the same time. Mm. So that's what I'm doing, and I'm not any more special than anybody listening. But it's just that I've taken action, and that's the key. Wonderful, taking action. Go ahead and say hello to those people that can uh, see me but hear your motivating voice. Go ahead and say hello to them on the video. Hello, everyone. It's so good to have you here with us. And as you know, Simone, the radio feel-good man, he's on a mission. And so I'm just so glad that you're making an investment of your time because where you sow good seed, you reap a harvest. And that's what you're doing. So continue just staying plugged in to this radio feel-good man's vision. Wonderful. Marlon, you know, when I was reading information about you that that I really got touched about because it reminded me of when I was growing up. When I was in high school, I realized that, you know, I had the gift and ability to move people and motivate people. And and your mission started when you were in college. Uh, Can you tell us a little bit about this journey to where you are now? But it started as a college student. Can you share this journey of the mission that you're on to motivate and inspire people and talk about this whole thing of success is your choice. Come on, thank you very much for that. Yes, I went to the University of Virginia where I studied electrical engineering, and every day, you know, I had, you know, labs and whatnot, and sometimes three-hour lab. I come home. I turn on the 6 o'clock news in Charlottesville, Virginia. Every single show on the news, 6 o'clock news, there was always an example of a young person making an unwise choice. So by me just watching, and I, you know, every single day, the days turn into weeks, weeks turn into months, and, but, you know, same issues, different school, different students being profiled. And my first question was, I said, wow, why won't somebody do something? Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, I watched and watched, and then, you know, I kept on asking that same question. And you see, for the questions that we ask of ourselves, we will get an answer. Mm-hmm. One day I asked a different question. I asked, what can I do? Now, here I am, a college student, but I said, there's got to be something I can do to be part of the solution. Mm -hmm. Rather than talking about the problem, let me be part of the solution. Now, here I am, a college student, you know, didn't really know what to do, but I said, there must be something. So what I did was I called some of my best friends. I said, hey, this Friday, I'm cooking dinner. Come over to my apartment. And I'm going to have dinner. Now, back then, <laughs> Simone, the only meal I could cook was spaghetti. Oh, wow. I made a, I made a mean spaghetti, right? <laughs> I know so you I did. I had friends come over. 
Entertainment. We fellowship. We had the radio with the boom box. I know I'm probably sharing my age, but it's okay. And after everyone was eating and, and, and finished, and I, I turned off the music, I said, look, the reason I invited you over is because we have young kids making unwise choices. Mm. You know, and I said, we as college students, we can be positive role models for these young kids mm. in Charlottesville, Virginia. Well, one of my friends said, Marlon, look, I've got, um, I think, 18 credit hours this semester. I said, I understand that. I've got 21 credit hours. I'm studying electrical engineering. What's one hour out of the day? Mm-hmm. Another buddy said, look, Marlon, i got a part-time job. I said, I have a part-time job. Right. But what's one hour out of the day? As a result of that conversation, we, my friends and I, we formed an organization called Street Academics where college students from University of Virginia started going into local area high schools and then middle schools, and it eventually became an official organization at UVA, University Mm -hmm. of Virginia. Mm -hmm. And so that's where this all started, Simone, because when I moved out to Silicon Valley, you know, my background in corporate, I've worked at IBM, I worked at Hewlett Packard as a systems engineer. Mm. But during my lunch break, while I was in Silicon Valley, I started going, during my lunch break, Mm -hmm. I started going into schools, Talking to young people, especially those that were having, uh, you know, doing things that, you know, weren't serving them. You know, the the kids that, you know, were on the verge of dropping out, the gangbangers. And that, for me, that, that one hour, and that's what I want our listeners to understand, is that when you're in the flow of your purpose, when you're doing what you were called to do, time flies. That's and right. so that one hour lunch break, it, time would fly, fly by. It was time for me to go back to my work job. I had a great job. But I said, there's, there's got to be more for me to do. And so I resigned January 15th, 1992, okay. stepped out on faith to mm. commit my life. And that's when I started mm. Success by Choice. Wow, that is amazing. Yeah. So you haven't even gone back to the corporate job because you said this is what you're called to do. You knew your assignment and then you started Success by Choice, correct? Correct. Now, what is, tell everybody, what is success by choice? Success by choice is a leadership consulting firm. And we basically, we facilitate leadership programs all over the world. Mm -hmm. I personally have spoken in 45 states, given keynote presentations, as well as 16 countries outside the U.S. Mm. And so we are about, you know, with my engineering background and my team, we understand that true change is a process. It's not a Mm once-off. So we basically come in, we do, you know, inspirational programs, but then we have follow-up programs because we understand it's all about creating winning habits. Mm -hmm. So you got to reinforce this new level of consciousness, this new level by sharing strategies, but also reinforcing, because what you do today will dictate where you'll be tomorrow. Right. But Marlon, a lot of people, we're not just talking about young people, but adults, they have a problem moving to the next phase of their lives. Can you share a little bit about that? Does it have a lot to do with the self-esteem? Does it have a lot to do with the people that they're surrounded by? Unlike people like you and I who are very self-motivated. Can you share that? Sure, great. So here's the thing. There's, there's, I have an acronym. It's called GAPAPS. Mm-hmm. G-A-P-A-P-S. And for all of our listeners, I want to encourage you, you know, make sure you, every time you come to this, this program, you need to have your notebook ready. Mm-hmm. Because research studies show that when we listen to something and, and we, you know, don't take notes, we, we only retain up to about 18% of that message. Mm-hmm. But when we take notes, we're actively involved, we can retain up to about 87% of that message. Mm-hmm. So I want to encourage all of us to make sure you, you pull out your notebook, get your pen ready, because here's something I want to share with you. It's called GAPAPS. G-A-P-A-P-S. Mm. G is your goals. Goals. You know, what, what is your vision for the future? In mm-hmm. the Bible, it says people without a vision perish. Mm-hmm. And so you got to know what is your goals? What, what, are you, what are you striving for? So G is goals. And I'm encouraging people to write down their goals. I even have a system where helping people, you know, in one of my books called Living with Purpose, mm-hmm. 40 Days to Empowering You and Your Family, I actually walk you through a system where you create your goals affirmation collage. But number one is goals. Mm-hmm. got to have your goals on paper. Number two, G is goals. A is attitude. Mm. What is your attitude? You know, that's why I applaud your listeners who are are, are watching or listening to this program. Because as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. That's right. So what is your attitude? It is your attitude that determines your altitude in life. What are you doing to feed your mind? Mm -hmm. 
what are you doing? You know, every single day, I, I, I'm, you know, I'm a Christian, and I read Proverbs, and there's 31 Proverbs, and, and so I, I, I read one proverb for that day of the month. Mm-hmm. What, what are you doing to feed your mind? Readers are leaders, and leaders are readers. Mm-hmm. We've got to make sure that we're inspiring ourselves by what we're watching mm-hmm. on television, mm-hmm. what we're listening to when we're in the car. And, you know, I use my car. This is great. I'm glad you asked, Simone. For, for attitude, I use my car as a library on wheels. Wow, I like that. See what I'm saying? So I'm listening to sermons. I'm listening to gospel music. Mm-hmm. I'm listening to inspirational speaking, mm-hmm. you know, so on and so forth. So I'm filling my mind. That's the attitude. Mm-hmm. G is goals. A is attitude. P is plan. Mm-hmm. If I ask all of us in this uh, listening, do you plan to fail in life? Mm-hmm. No. No one plans to fail. Nobody wakes up in the morning and says, today I get to fail. (laughs) Nobody does that, right, Simone? That's correct. The bigger question, Simone, is are you failing to plan your life? Wow. Wow. I'm telling you. And so, again, you know, you've got to have a plan. Mm -hmm. And that's where you get around other people who are, you know, who can help you to grow. People Mm -hmm. might be a little bit further in their success Mm -hmm. because success leaves footprints. Mm -hmm. So that's P, plan. Okay. The next A is action. Got to take action. Mm-hmm. And the one thing that holds people back from taking action is fear. Mm-hmm. But fear is false expectations appearing real. Wow. You gotta, we got some things to help you get through that. And then when you take action, things don't always go, always go the way you want. Right. You got to be P, persistent. Mm-hmm. A winner never quits, a quitter never wins. And then S, success. Mm. Success is the final. And I want you to understand, success is not a destination. That's what a lot of people get caught up in. It's a journey. I get excited when challenges come. Because it's an opportunity to show my courage. It's an opportunity to show my character. So, G-A-P-A-P-S. Goals, attitude, plan, action, persistent, success. Wow, it, that's really amazing. And, and they're, they're, they're simple words, but mean so much. That's right. <clears throat> so, how do you get people as a motivating speaker and author to follow this G-A-P-A-P-S? Great question. So, yeah, we do live events. You know, we do our, our, our programs, live events, have an audience. We share. We inspire. Mm-hmm. But also mm-hmm. then we have the follow-up. Mm-hmm. So we have an online program. Like, for example, we have a 21-day a, a success challenge, mm-hmm. all online, video-based, where, again, it helps people reinforce those winning habits. Mm-hmm. So that's how we stay connected. Wow. It's one thing to get people excited. Right? We've all gone to, you know, a church service or we've gone to a, an inspirational program. We get excited while we're there. Mm-hmm. But how long does it last? Exactly. What happens the n- next day? What yeah. happens the next week? Mm-hmm. And it's just like New Year's resolutions, so, Simone. That's, That's why right. I love the fact that I'm on the show now. <laughs> because, listen, everyone's writing out their New Year's resolution. <laughs> everyone's hit the gym come January 1st. But then you go back to that same gym February 1st yeah. and, and nobody's there. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. So again, it's being you know being you know accountable, held accountable mm. to being your best, and you know with success by choice. You know we have uh, the twenty one day success challenge and, right. and and so on and so forth. So you know that to me is you know you got to make this a daily habit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You got to do a system. That's why I say you know I I read in the morning and I and I and I educate myself and you know but, but I I basically schedule it mm-hmm. because when it's scheduled it can get done. Mm-hmm. It's not about a, a wish or a want to. It's about making it an absolute must. So people need to get with this system. They need to make this a priority every day to do these things so they can see results. Most definitely. But the problem is that people got so much going on that they get off track all the time. If they really have a desire for success, they will do it. Am I right, Marlon? Oh, you definitely are, Simone. I mean, here's the thing. We all say I'm so busy, but listen, we need to just analyze and say where are we just, you know, doing activities that are not serving. Exactly, exactly. You're with me? I mean, we're all busy. We all have the same 24 hours in a day. But why is it that some people are high achievers, Mm -hmm. producing outstanding results, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. while others are barely making it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And what I've come to realize is that it's all about how we utilize our time. Exactly. And the people who are not utilizing their time and they say they're busy, they're busy doing nothing. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, there have been re- re- 
there's studies showing that you know the average American um, you know can, will watch up to seven and a half hours of television a day. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Come on now, that's that's too much. Mm-hmm. Unless you're watching inspirational and 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 uh, you know autobiographies and bi- you know okay you're, you're getting it, but if you're just watching just sitcoms. If that's what you're filling your mind with? Exactly. Turn off the TV. That's right. I mean, I, I know I'm being bold. No, you be some yourself. Day challenge. Turn mm-hmm. off the TV mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. see how much time, extra time you have. Yeah. See, if we you know there's 31 days in January, let's let's challenge that. Exactly. I'm here to tell you, leaders. I'm here to tell you, listeners. I'm here to tell you, viewers, that your life matters. That's but right. What you do today will dictate where you'll be tomorrow. Wonderful. You want a better life? Change your actions. Yes. Change your attitude. It will manifest a better life. Great words, Marlon. Marlon, what have you found out when you um, have people in your workshops, your seminars, and you speak? What do most people commonly say why they can't move to the next level of their life? Well, I I think number one is fear. Mm. Fear. Fear of the unknown. Fear of, of failure. Fear of what will people say. Fear of rejection. And that's what holds most people back. Right. You know, when I asked in a, a live audience, you know, I was in South Africa, and I, you know, asked this question. There was about 4,800 people in the audience, CEOs, business people. I said, how many of you procrastinate? Yep. That's 99 a big <laughs> hands went up, Simone. That's a, that's a big right? word, big word, procrastination. Big word, right? Procrastinate. <laughs> Don't take action. And I said, well, why is that? Let's talk about it. And right. then we uncovered that it really comes down to fear. Mm. Right? We put things off that, oh, well, I might not succeed. I, I, oh, boy, what happens if, I, if it doesn't work out the way I want? See, what I'm here to say is that, no, it's now time to take action. So that's the number one thing that holds people back mm-hmm. is fear. And that's why our programs inspire people to move through fear, yes. to move through it. Because I'm here to tell you this, even if you get knocked down by life, pray that you land on your back because if you can look up, you can get up. I know that's right. Right? I mean, listen, life is an emotional roller coaster. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. <laughs> but isn't it true, Simone? That's when true. When you go through those low points, yes. that's when you grow. <clears throat> exactly. That's when you really build character, you build your muscle. Exactly. So I'm here to say, yes, I, the only reason I have spoken in 45 states, four, uh, I'm sorry, 16 countries, wow. is because I've just stepped up. Yes. And, and I don't, you know, hey, and, you know, listen, and then I read so many books. Yes. I mean, they say Thomas Edison, you know, quote, unquote, failed over a thousand times when trying to create the light bulb. And an interviewer asked him, man, don't you feel like a failure? You know, you've had a thousand mm-hmm. failures. Thomas Edison said, no, I've learned 1,000 ways not to do it. Yes. I've learned. So that's how I look at this whole thing called fear. No, you're not a failure. If things don't go the way you want, you just change your strategy. Yes. And, yes. and that's it, Simone. That's the key. I mean, mm. you have this successful radio program. Mm-hmm. You know, there were some things that in your mind, you had to say, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to listen to that. Exactly. You know, <laughs> and you just press forward. Exactly. So I applaud you, my brother. I applaud Thank you. you. Thank and you. That, and what I want our listeners to understand is that, listen, it's available to you too. Yes. It's available to you. But you, faith and fear cannot operate at the same time. I know that's right. So, Marlon, for all of those folks that are listening and watching us, um, again, you have definitely charged me. You have said the word of motivation. Uh, people need to get rid of fear and stop procrastinating. How can they be a part of this success by choice and the speaker author blueprint online training? They need to register and get in it now because the new year is about to begin and we don't want no excuses by the end of next year. <laughs> there you go. There you go. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, the speaker author blueprint.com www.speakerauthorblueprint.com and there you know we lay out what our program is okay it's a you know it's an online program five weeks webinars where basically I'm going to be sharing with you because I get approached all over the world people say Marlon I want to be a speaker or yeah. that was a great presentation or I'm doing a book signing and people come up to me and say man I, I've got a book idea I just don't know where to start and what happened my team and I we said you know what we need more positive energy in this world. Mm -hmm. We need more positive light with all the challenges going on. So if we can inspire other people to live their God-given purpose, Mm -hmm. wouldn't that be awesome? That's right. People just, people have a desire, they just don't know where to start. So in this speakerauthorblueprint.com program, Mm -hmm. I'm going to be sharing all the secrets 
I, you know, I resigned from Hewlett Packard January fifteenth, nineteen ninety two. That means next next month in a few days it will be twenty three years. Unbelievable! So I have a lot to share. Yes, and realize this: success leaves footprints. So, yes, speakerauthorblueprint dot com. Go check out that website. Mm-hmm. If you have any questions, you can send an email to purpose mm-hmm. at successbychoice dot com. Purpose at successbychoice dot com. Because we're here to serve, yes. and we're here to help you <clears throat> shine your light. Yes, Marlon, I want you to share one of those secrets with me now. Just one. Just give me one. One secret I, I, I think that it really has just taken our company to just international success. Number one is this: people do not care how much you know mm-hmm. until they know how much you care. Mm. It, it's a it's a law. It's a law. It's a law. As uh, you know, what you what you sow is what you reap. It's a law. It's basically people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Our company, how are you going to stand out? How are you going to, you as an individual, how are you going to be the best of the best? Mm -hmm. You can't be mediocre. You've got to go beyond the call of duty. So people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. I share that because it's it's beyond customer service. Mm -hmm. It's a lifestyle. And for those listeners that, you know, I mean, you can apply this to anything in your life. You can, I mean, as a speaker, yes, I apply it because I go the extra yard. I do the research. Mm-hmm. I customize my presentations. Mm-hmm. I go beyond the call of duty. But at the same time, for those of, you, uh, of our listeners who are, you know, working, you know, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Mm-hmm. And that is so phenomenal. So with your manager, you know, or your, your, your colleagues, your peers at work, you know, it's just so important for you to go the extra yard. Yes. And, and, and then let people know, hey, I, I see you. I care about you. Mm-hmm. That that's the thing. Because mm-hmm. I'm here to tell you, it's all about relationships. Absolutely. You know, I can look at all. I mean, look at how you and I have connected, Simone, and, yes. and this is just the beginning of us doing some great things. Mm-hmm. But we have a mutual friend, David Poindexter. Yes. You yes. know, who said, <laughs> Marlon, Simone, y'all need to connect. Yes, right. <laughs> and, and look at his brother, right? So you know, now we're on this radio program. And, I mean, it's 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 a domino effect. Yes. But remember this. You know, both you and I, we have shown through our time with David, hey, we care about David. That's right. So he cares about us. That's right. And that's that's the value. So the, I think that I, I want people to hear. I mean, I have so many more secrets, you know. Right, right. But, I mean, it's, it's, it's things that you may know, but the question is, are you applying it? Right, right. Now, Marlon, people can register right now by going to the website, um, Blueprint Online, for the Blueprint Online training, uh, successbychoice.com, correct? Well, they go to speakerauthorblueprint.com. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. Speaker, author, blueprint. And I'm actually, we're running a special promotional discount right now. Good. Because we want to bless those that take action. Yes. You know, it's one thing to talk about you're going to do something. It's another thing for you to say, you know what, I'm stepping up. Yes. So we're going to reward those that take action. They get a 50% discount. Great. Okay? Great. All you got to do is put in a special code, 1007, mm-hmm. in the uh, coo- coupon uh, code box, and you will receive a 50% discount. Let me tell you this. Mm-hmm. How you invest your time, how you invest your resources, mm-hmm. I'm here to tell you it will have a phenomenal return. I have a money-back guarantee on this program because I'm coming to serve. I'm coming right. to give all that I can because I want, I know I can only do so much, mm-hmm. but if I can inspire, empower, if I can teach other people how to share their message, how to share their books, how to share their expertise, their mm-hmm. wisdom, mm-hmm. then I've, made, I've contributed. I've, I've helped others shine their light. Mm-hmm. So we have a, a full 100% money-back guarantee. If you're not excited, you know, you can learn what you want, and then you can ask for a refund. Because I'm not, I'm not afraid. Yes. I want you to know, for all of our listeners, c- come join us. Wonderful. You will be truly blessed. And again, that's speakerauthorblueprint.com. Great. Marlon, as we get ready to conclude, I, I can have you on for hours. Mm. What, what powerful motivational words can you share as we get ready? We only have two days left. Yes. And some folks have not, as I said earlier, have, have done uh, anything with their lives this whole year. They have not moved. Um, they have not progressed because of the economy and just so many different things. What can you say 
to someone that's listening right now. They're down and out. They're hopeless. They said, I'm listening to you guys. I love Simone. I love listening to Brother Marlon. But hey, I just can't. I can't do this. What can you share to get them up out of their situation? Exactly. So number one, I want to say this. You know, a vision without action Mm -hmm. is just a dream. Yeah. A lot of action without a vision is merely a passing of time. But a vision with action can change the world. And so with that, I want to, I want to encourage you, give yourself at least 60 minutes before we bring in 2015. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm encouraging you, I'm challenging you, give yourself at least 15, uh, uh, 60 minutes of where you just get a notebook or a journal, and I want you to reflect. I want you to write down, what was good about 2014? Mm-hmm. What did you learn? Mm-hmm. What are some of the things that, that pain you, that mm-hmm. ache you, because mm-hmm. you didn't take action? And I want you just to give yourself this gift and write and write. And for some of us, you know, that 60 minutes is going to go to two hours. Some of you go take a little break, come back mm-hmm. to it. Mm-hmm. But here's what I want you to understand. For 2015, I'm challenging everyone to keep a daily success journal. Yes. What is a daily success journal? What it is is every night before you go to bed, every single night for the next 365 days, 2015, I'm challenging you to keep a journal where you record what was good about today. What did I learn today? How did I grow? How did I move closer to fulfilling my dreams and my goals? Because I want to share this with you. How do you have a successful life? It's many successful years. Mm. How do you have a successful year? Many successful months. How do you have a successful month? Many successful weeks. Mm -hmm. And how do you have a successful week? You know the answer. Many successful days. Mm -hmm. So if we start focusing on our daily Mm -hmm. successes, we will have a successful life. Mm -hmm. That is the answer. And I've also, I've got something called, you know, uh, Living with Purpose, 40 Days to Empowering You and Your Family. It's a a book, DVD. You can get that online at successbychoice.com, successbychoice.com. So that to me, Simone, what what we focus on becomes our reality. Yes. So I'm not talking about where this is a diary where you're saying, oh, this was terrible, and you're recapping, you know, all the things that happened that were, you know, you feel were bad. No, I'm talking about asking yourself empowering questions. Mm -hmm. Like, what was good about today? What did I learn today? Exactly. Who loves me? Who do I love? And by you journaling that, life takes on new meaning. Wow. Marlon Smith, I cannot thank you enough for taking the time out of your schedule to be a part of the Psalm Book of Gospel, a show that changes lives. You are truly living your passion. You are truly a man of God with a vision. I thank you so much. What's your final word? My final word is live with purpose. Wow. Because there's greatness within you. Thank you so much. Whatever's happened in the past, that's in the past. Today is your day. Remember, the past is history. The future is a mystery. All we have is the here and now, and that's why they call it present, because it's a gift. Wonderful. Make the best use of your gifts. Wonderful. Ladies and gentlemen, Marlon Smith, they want to applause for you. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Marlon, tell everybody real quick what you think of our radio show and, of course, the radio Feel Good Man as we continue. Mr. Moon, I think the Radio Feel Good Man and this mission is so important. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to share the recording with other inspirational speakers and, and leadership people and because that's what we have to do. We have to link arms. So I just want to say continue on, Simone. Continue sharing your light because your light is igniting other lights within people. Thank you, Marlon Smith. Happy New Year, man. I can't wait to meet you face-to-face because I am coming to Charlotte next year, okay? All right, brother, if I don't beat you to Philly first. All right, thank you, man. God bless you. God bless you. Okay, bye-bye.